Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I am back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit the like button, hit the share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. They're jealous of your struggle because they want all the benefit without any of the heartache and pain that come along with it. You ever met someone that was jealous of a person's struggle? They want all the benefit and nothing that comes along with it. They see all your scars. They see what your pain has allowed you to become. They see what your pain has allowed you to create. They see what you went through and how it was able to change your life. They don't know what you went through, but they see that you're the result of what you've been through. They see you're the result of how far you came. They want the strength. Mm -hmm. They want to be strong. They want the courage. They want the wherewithal to be able to handle things like you do. They want the amount of knowledge that you've encompassed. The wisdom, the understanding, the patience, the mental fortitude. The ability to be handle the ability to be able to handle pressure and not succumb to it. That's what they want. They want the ability to do everything you do, to be as great as you, to be as successful as you too. But what you don't understand is that they don't want the struggle part. They just want the glitz, they want the glam, the glitter, and the sham. They want all the money in their hand. They want to be able to just wake up, get up out of bed, and just be you. And all the good things that come along with your life. They see what you drive. They see where you live. They see what kind of job you have. They see the nice clothes you wear, your jewelry. Maybe you got some, some fly earrings. Maybe you got some nice shoes, some nice clothes. Maybe you are able to take care of yourself very well. But it wasn't always like that. They weren't there when you were at the bus stop and it was raining and you didn't even have an umbrella, right? Clothes all wet, shoes all wet, shoes and socks soaked. And you said, then you, you're not even coming back from anywhere. You on your way to where you're going, having to dry yourself off when you get to work, maybe even having to bring an extra pair of clothes. They don't want those nights or days where your stomach was touching your back and you didn't know what you were going to eat. They don't want those days where all you had was ramen for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because you had to pay your rent and you only had maybe 15 to $45 left to your name. And you got to make sure you look good. I know you can't eat a haircut, but if you get a haircut, you might get something to eat if you catch my drift. They want all the good things that come along with you, minus the struggle. How about that? They want to be as cool as you. 
as seasoned as you, but they don't have what it takes to go through what you've been through because your life isn't their experience. Now, could they possibly find it within themselves to go through what you've been through? Yes, but because they haven't been through what you've been through, they don't have what it takes to reach the level you're currently at. They're going to have to find another way. They're going to have to do it their way because your way isn't going to cut it. Your way is not going to work for them. They didn't grow up in the same environment. They didn't grow up with the same circumstances. And this could be for anyone in any walk of life. We all grow up differently and we all undergo different changes in life. We all endure different experiences, but they don't want anything to do with your pain. Like that Tupac song. I noticed your pain. Share it with me. They notice your pain. I'm tired of the strain and the pain. It's so much pain. I'm tired of the strain and the pain. You want to listen to a hard rap song? Listen to that Tupac song, So Much Pain. I'm about to play it today after this. I should have, I should have had it playing for this video. But it probably would have been a copyright strike. And that would have been nothing but some more pain that I don't want to experience. All right? I don't, I don't want to bear the burden. Of, uh, I don't want to bear that burden. I don't want the experience from that. So let's get back into it. They're jealous of your struggle. But they don't want to eat that ramen for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They're jealous of your struggle. They don't want to be caught in the rain with no umbrella soaked from head to toe. They're jealous of your struggle. They don't want to eat cold cuts seven days a week. Eating the same thing every day. Breakfast for lunch. Sandwich, I mean breakfast, uh, uh, cereal and milk for breakfast, sandwich for lunch, and some ramen, and then maybe some ramen and a sandwich for dinner. Gotta switch it up. And you might say, well, this person put themselves through that. Well, they might have. But if they got themselves out of it and made it to something better, you can't really say much about it, can you? That was their struggle. Some self-induced some life-induced, some caught up in the, the Ill, stricken by the ills of poverty, some was determined to get somewhere by doing it the way they wanted, so that poverty was self-induced. You have some people who decide to be something, and they don't decide to maybe go to school or maybe find them the best job. Maybe they just want any job they can get their hands on because they spend their off time from work creating and maybe they're creating a lifestyle for themselves. Maybe they have a line of work they're ushering themselves into with this side hustle, with this hobby. Maybe they're working towards turning their hobby into a business and they only need enough money just to get by because they have to put all their time and attention into what they want to be. The same amount of time and attention that they would be putting into something that they were doing something they didn't want to do. Some people want to do something they want to do so bad, they're willing to struggle and to have less until they can win, accomplish some goals, and then have more. But that's your struggle. They want to, they want to be able to do everything they see you doing, but didn't want to go through all the things that you had to go through, the sleepless nights, the times of uncertainty, the times where you were pretty much just thugging it out, not knowing how things were going to turn out, but pushing towards better anyway, 
not knowing how things were going to go out, but turn out, but still going in the same direction that you were going in. And not giving up on top of that. They're jealous of your struggle. Isn't that something? You had but about but five dollars in your bank account. Might have might even been on negative five, God forbid. And they are jealous of your struggle. They got more than you. They have better resources than you. Might have a better job, might have a better this or that. But they're jealous of your struggle. They they want to be able to be just like you. And it's to the point where this person is even unhappy with the fact that they had a better life. This person is even unhappy with the fact that things are going well for them. This person actually wishes that they had some hard times to endure just so they could have a similar lifestyle to what yours is. They want to be like you so bad. They want to be, quote unquote, you know, down so bad. But if you look at life, everybody struggles in one form or another. It's just they're jealous of yours because of all that comes along with your struggle. They want to, you know, wear an icy chain and they want to be able to drive the fancy car and live in a nice house. They want everything that comes along with what a person could work for and don't want anything to do with any other work. How crazy is that? You want to know everything a person knows and you're jealous of what someone knows, but you don't even know how they gathered that information. You don't know that if they didn't learn what they learned, they were going to die. You didn't know that if this person didn't take the time to study and figure certain things out, they'd have been lost in the dark, confused, manipulated, and being taken advantage of and have a horrible life, have a horrible existence. They want everything you have without taking any of the risk. They don't want to take any risks. They don't want to do anything different. They just want to stay complacent and stay in their comfort zone. But they want to become successful. They don't want to have to struggle through life like you did. They just want to be at the end of the finish line without even running the race. You ran that race when it was sunny, when it was raining, when it was snowing when it was sleeting, when it was hailing. Rain, snow, sleet, hail. You don't even hear about hail, I mean, uh, sleet on the Weather Channel anymore. When the last time you heard about sleet, that's how long you've been going in. You don't even, rain, sleet, rain, sleet, hail, snow. You don't even see, hear people say the word sleet no more. That's how, that's how long you've been doing your thing. And they want all the benefits. They want all the cookies without having to uh, uh, crack open the eggs, mix the butter, the sugar, the vanilla. They don't want to put together the mixture themselves. They just want to take all the cookies out the oven. And you'll realize that a lot of people don't want any of the work. They don't want to put in any of the work. They don't want any other responsibility, but they want all the success that comes along with it. They want every bit of the success that comes with it. They want the money. They want cars. They want clothes, homes, success. They want everything that comes along with being able to do for yourself and provide for yourself or what some might consider success. But what they don't realize is there is there's going to be some type of struggle, even if that struggle is just the work. 
You know, some people have to do the work. Some people are actually struggling, like working towards getting themselves out of poverty while working towards becoming successful. Like them becoming successful is their way out of poverty. That's what some people don't realize. Some people, they are already successful in life, but they may not have became anything yet to where they would be deemed as successful by career or by the work that they do. But some people are already just successful in life due to their circumstances, due to their condition. Maybe they have some generational wealth and we're not hating on that because maybe they had to struggle to keep it. Maybe they had to work hard to keep the, the money in the family. Maybe they had to invest it. If they didn't make that investment, maybe they would have met, went bankrupt. You don't know. There's all different types of walk, walk. There's all different types of people, all different walks of life, all different struggles. Just because someone already has money and is deemed successful doesn't mean they don't have any struggles to endure. They have to do something to keep that money coming in. They're not. They can't just sit there and 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 just have that. You know, maybe if they even if they had to learn how to make the money work for 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 uh, itself, maybe they learned how to invest. All right, there's some type of struggle, even when it comes to something somebody might not deem as a struggle. People still have to struggle to learn information. So maybe some someone's trying to hide the information. Maybe people won't be straight up with this person because they don't want them to figure out how to become successful because they could be a jealous hater and want to see them broke and poor and not teach them everything they need to know. But one thing I realized is that people will be jealous of your struggle. All right. People will be jealous of what you go through because of what it's turning you into. And when you go through things, you change. When you go through things, you become stronger. When you go through things, your life ends up being different than it was before you went through it. And most people just want the, the shine. All right, they don't want to put in the time. Most people want the shine. They don't want to put in the time. And a lot of people just are looking for an easy way out. Some people choose success because they think it's easy. Okay, I could become this. And then once I decide that I'm this, or once I choose that I'm this, Everything is going to work out for me and everything is going to be easy. And that's just not the case. Things are challenging and things are difficult, but some people, they want to just bypass the challenging part and the difficult part. And you want to know why I know? Oh yeah. You ready? Because I was one of them. I was a person that I thought I could just do this, become successful, do that, become successful. But then I realized that, oh, it's a little harder than I thought. But I was I was accepting and ready and willing to complete my task regardless of the challenge. So I put myself through these 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 tests of having to be able to figure something out because you want things to be easy. And I'm pretty sure that's all of us. We want things to be easy. We want things to be hard. I ain't never been jealous of nobody's struggle, but I always thought that, you know, if I go to do this, I could do this and it would be, it, it wouldn't be as hard as I may have perceived it to be. And I think we all get um, success syndrome at some point where we see something, we may have an interest in it and we think we're good at it until we actually pick it up, have to try it, have to do it. And then we realize that, whoa, it's a lot more to it than I thought. And that's okay. But as long as you're willing to put your ego to the side and either get a mentor and learn or ask people some questions that already know or do some studying or just keep practicing until you get there. And that's where the struggle comes into play. And you watching this video realized that and accepted the fact that you were going to have to struggle with what you knew to learn more, to get to a, a better place to where you could eventually do what it was you needed to do. Because you, you, you knew that there was going to be some type of fight for you to make your dream become a reality. And this person that's jealous of your struggle, 
they just want the dream. They just want the 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 good part. They don't want the part where they have to make it a reality. They just want to skip past that part. And that's why they're jealous of your struggle because they would have to endure everything that you endured. They would have to go through everything that you went through to be like you. But no, they just want to be you. They just want to be like you. They just want all the benefits. But they fail to realize life doesn't work that way. If it did, everybody would be happy. But you have to achieve happiness. Happiness can be achieved. It just has to be achieved. And you have to work through yourself mentally. You have to work through all your mental faults. You got to work through all your insecurities. You got to work through all your doubts, your worries, your fears. So that way you can get to the good parts of your mind. Because it, it, it's, it's a fight and it's a battle and it's a struggle even within. There's, there's outward struggles and then there's inward struggles. Maybe you want to discipline yourself. Maybe you want to change your mindset. Maybe you want to stop being so negative and you want more positive thoughts to be swirling around in your head. It's a fight. You have to fight through all the things you don't want to get to what you do want. You have to fight yourself to focus on the things that is best for you to be focused on versus the things that you're not focused on. You go to do something that takes a lot of concentration and you'll see the inward struggle of having to focus. You try to do something, do some work on your phone. Social media is going to be distracting you. The YouTube, the Facebook, the IG, all the apps, pop-ups, texting, may get some calls, may get some emails, maybe something, may, you may have an urge to do something on your phone that you normally do. You may be trying to read. You might want to watch a, a, a short or watch some, some funny videos or watch some, some, a movie or something. But what you have to realize is that you have to stay disciplined. Be, you know, like I said before, discipline ain't sexy. It is once you can, when, once you become disciplined, it's attractive. But at first, when, you, when you're not disciplined and you're working towards becoming disciplined, it's nothing sexy about that. It's, 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 nothing, it's nothing too cool about that. It is for somebody that wants it desperate and desperately enough, but for those who are fighting inward forces, opposing forces, uh, their own self, you know, uh, not eating that piece of chocolate cake because you told yourself you wouldn't, you know, not uh, going out when you told yourself you would stay in and study, going to the gym and working out and getting out of bed when you don't feel like it because you had a long day or you had a, a late night studying and now you got to wake up and work out because you told yourself you would and you want to hold yourself accountable and keep your word to yourself it's not easy and they're jealous of your struggle because you struggled to get to where you're at and now you're 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 almost there or you're halfway there or maybe you're even still struggling to get there but they see what's going to happen once you make it out that struggle. They see that you're like a, a, a caterpillar in a cocoon that turned into a butterfly that's about to break free from its cocoon. You're struggling so that you can fly eventually. Even when a bird gets kicked out the nest, it's a struggle. It's got to spread its wings and fly or fall to the ground and die. You chose to spread your wings and fly instead of fall to the ground and die. And they're jealous of you because of that, because they don't see it in themselves. They see themselves as possibly dying. And that's why they play it safe. That's why they take no risks. That's why they stay within their comfort zone. And that's why they're jealous of your struggle. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like a part two, I can make one for you. Let me know in the comments. And I didn't forget about the other part two comments. I'm going to go back, look at those comments, and I'm going to creatively come up with something else for that video. So I appreciate you guys commenting. Appreciate you showing me some love. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, love, and light. We out.